Connecting a Replacement Infinity Pack Box to a Box in Use the following instructions are in no way intended to supersede the manufacturer's instructions for the use of their butt welder. When setting up the butt weld, first ensure the wire size select switch is in the off position. Then safely connect the butt welder to the power source. Turn both knobs counterclockwise to loosen the wire clamps. Push the compression lock to the right and down to loosen the jaws. This will create a gap between the two brass grooves. From the replacement infinity pack box, direct the wire end through the slot of the box hood. Remove the wire end labeled with the start tag and trim the wire to create a squared end. Then, secure the end of the wire in the brass grooves of the jaws. Be sure the wire is in the center of the gap. If the weld location is not centered in the gap, the butt weld will not be successful. Tighten the wire clamp by turning the knob clockwise. There should be enough pressure that the wire and jaws will not move. From the first infinity pack box, remove enough wire from the tabs at the top of the box so that the wire will reach the resistance welder. Make sure to place the remaining wire back in the tabs at the top of the infinity pack box. The orientation of the box should allow for the wire to be placed in a minimum of two tabs to complete a successful transfer. The tabs holding the end of the wire are important when transitioning from the box in use to the new box because it slows down the pull of wire for a smooth transition. Once the amount of required wire has been determined, trim and square the wire to place the end in the brass grooves of the jaws. Ensure the wire butts are evenly spaced and touching between the brass groove gap. Release the compression knob. The gap between the brass grooves should remain and the two wire ends should be pushing against one another. If the wire ends are not properly squared and compressed, the butt weld will not work. Turn the switch on the base unit to the appropriate setting for the wire size. Press the green cycle start button on the front panel to weld the wire ends together. There will be a slight delay for the wired to resistance weld. You should see a spark and if looking closely you should see the actual movement of the wire coming together as the resistance weld is made. To remove the wire, loosen the wire clamps by turning the locking knobs counterclockwise. Then. Reset the compression lock to the right and down to loosen the jaws for easy removal of the wire and flash. Remove the wire. If a butt weld fails or was not properly created, complete the procedure again. It's worth the 60 seconds to do it again rather than have a break occur during production. Removing the flash. Caution, the wire may be hot. The most common technique for removing the flash is to use a metal file until the flash is flush with the wire diameter. You may also use a reverse die or high-speed rotary tool to remove the flash. Once the wire ends have been welded together and the flash has been removed, the wires should be securely fastened between the two infinity pack boxes using the bridge supplied with the dispensing kit. For more detailed information, please review Lincoln Electric's online documentation.